hi students we were discussing about the periodic trends in modern periodic table the next property or the periodic trend that we are going to discuss today is about atomic size okay size of an atom now atomic size depends upon atomic radius you explain each and everything in detail you listen see the example note it down and learn it then and then Oh, now as I told, atomic size depends upon atomic radius. Now, what is atomic radius? What is radius of an atom? Atomic radius is the distance between the nucleus of the atom and the outermost shell. You have to write it. Atomic size. Atomic size depends upon atomic radius. What is atomic radius? Atomic radius is the distance between the nucleus of the atom and the outermost shell. This will be the first point for any given reason which is based upon atomic size. Okay, now as you go along the period and down the group, what will happen to this atomic size? Is it increasing? Is it decreasing? Let us see that in detail. I will write all the 20 elements first. So here hydrogen, helium I will write, lithium, sodium, potassium, beryllium, magnesium, calcium, boron, aluminium, C, S, I, N, P, O, S, F, C, L, helium, neon, R. So these are our 20 elements. Okay. After writing this, now let us see. Atomic radius when we go from left to right and when we go from top to bottom. That is from down the group and from left to right in a period. What will happen to this atomic size? First let me talk about along the period. That is as we go from left to right. What happens to atomic radius? Okay. So I will consider these elements one by one. Atomic number of lithium, this is 1, 2, so lithium will be 3. Now, without atomic number, without electronic configuration, you can't learn a property. Every property depends upon the electronic configuration. So, we have beryllium's atomic number 4, 5, 6, 7, oxygen 8, fluorine 9 and neon 10. So, let me take, I will take lithium. Lithium, how will I draw the atom of lithium? I will consider lithium. Okay, listen carefully. So, lithium's nucleus, here we have three atomic number. That means I will talk about three protons. First shell, first shell always contain two electrons. And we have the second shell which will have one electron. Because the electronic configuration of lithium is 2 comma 1. So I wrote this way. Lithium 2 comma 1. 2 electrons and 1. So it has two shells. No? Shell K and shell L. Now let us talk about beryllium. Okay. Beryllium I will draw. Beryllium we have 4 protons in the nucleus. Then we have the first shell. First shell always 2 electrons. Then we have the second shell. Electronic configuration of beryllium is 2 comma 2. So in the outermost shell it will have 2 electrons. Then I will talk about the boron. Boron we have boron. Electronic configuration will be 2 comma 3. Nucleus 5 protons. Then we have the first shell, two electrons. The second shell, three electrons. After this, I will directly, it's somewhat the same. No? For carbon you will have 2, 4, 4 electrons in the outermost shell. Now I will talk about fluorine. Fluorine, atomic number is 9. Okay, So for fluorine I will write. Atomic number is 9, so the electronic configuration will be 2, 7. Okay, so here I will draw that. Fluorine will have the nucleus, 9 protons. Okay, 
first shell will have two electrons. The outermost shell or the second shell will have seven electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. I left just here. Okay, seven, three, six, seven. Now, as you go from left to right in a period, the atomic size decreases. How? Why? Listen. The atomic size decreases as you go from left to right. I have some valid reasons for that. As you can see, all the elements has two shells. No? If it belongs to period 2, in the last class we had discussed. If the period is 2, that means it will have two shells. If there are only two shells, it will belong to period 2. Okay? Correct, right? Okay, ah. so it has two shells, so it belongs to period number 2. Whereas, as you go from left to right, you can see that the number of protons, that is 3p, 4p, 5p, 6p, 7p, 8p, 9p and for neon it is 10 protons. The positive charge of the nucleus is increasing. Here, you can see that as you go from left to right, the positive charge of nucleus is increasing. The positive charge is increasing because of which the nuclear charge increases. The nuclear attraction also increases between the nucleus and the electrons. As the nucleus is attracting the outermost shell, which reduces the size of the atom. Which so it, it is pulling the last shell towards the nucleus. So, the size is reduced. The size of the atom reduces. Why it reduces? Because as you go from left to right, every element is getting more amount of positive charge. So, this positive charge is more on the outermost shells, on the outermost electrons because of which the outermost electrons is experiencing more pull by the nucleus. And by, because it is experiencing more pull, so the size of the atom also reduces. Size of the atom reduces. So what happens along the period? Let us talk about what happens down the group. Okay, so let me consider the first group elements. Hydrogen, lithium, sodium and potassium. Sodium's atomic number is 11 and potassium is 19. No, atomic number. Let us consider these elements now. So, first hydrogen, I will drop hydrogen. Atomic number is 1. So, we have 1 proton and first shell, 1 electron. Okay. Next, lithium. Atomic number is 3. So, the electronic configuration 2, 1. Nucleus, 3 protons and first shell, 2 electrons whereas the Second shell, one electron. Okay? For hydrogen, only one shell. For lithium, we have two shells. Shell K and L. Next, we have sodium. Sodium, electronic configuration is 2, 8, 1. 2 plus 8, 10. 10 plus 1, 11. Okay. Nucleus, 11 protons. First shell, 2 electrons. Second shell, 8 electrons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And third shell, 1 electron. Here I'll show you. Okay? These all are electrons. Electrons. Then, so, uh, potassium, after uh, sodium potassium that I will show here. Potassium atomic number is 19. So, the electronic configuration will be 2, 8, 8, 1. Okay. As you can see, the outermost shell has one electron, only one valence electron. So, uh, valence electron 1 means it belongs to group 1. Remember, no? Valence electron 2 means it belongs to group 2. Valence electron 3 means you will add 10. 
3 plus 10, 13. It belongs to group 13. In the last class we had discussed this. If you forgot, go and see that video once again. Okay. Ah, so we were talking about potassium. Potassium nucleus will be 19 protons. Then we have the first shell, 2 electrons. The second shell, 8 electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The third shell, again 8 electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the last electron, and the last shell, 1 electron. So here, K, L, M, N. As you can see, as we go down the group, you can see that the number of shells, here only one shell, here two shells, here three shells and here we had four shells. The number of shells are increasing which means that the nuclear pull which is exerted by the nucleus, it the reach, yeah, it is not able to reach till the outermost shell because the number of shells are increasing. So the nuclear pull experienced is very less. Imagine your classroom, okay? If I am standing here, the people, those who are sitting in first, second, third, they will feel more pull. Whereas, if you are sitting in the last bench, till there, the pull exerted by the teacher or the effect felt is very less. Same way, here, the nuclear pull decreases as the number of shells increases. Nuclear pull decreasing. Nuclear pull is decreasing, so the atomic size increases. Nuclear pull increases, atomic size decreases. Understood? So why does the atomic size increases down the group? Because as you go down the group, the number of shells increases. The number of shells is added, gets added up. From 1 it becomes 2, it becomes 3, it becomes 4. So as the number of shells increases, the nuclear pull experienced by the electrons also decreases. As the number of shells increases, the nuclear pull decreases. As the nuclear pull or nuclear attraction decreases, the atomic size increases. Now you can see the atomic size increases as you go down the group. Understood? Once you are thorough with the concept of atomic size, atomic size depends upon atomic radius, more nuclear pull exerted by the nucleus, the atomic size decreases. As the number of shells increases, the nuclear pull reduces. So, the atomic size increases. Now, in the exam, you can expect, they will give you the elements in any order. For example, let us talk about the third period. So, they may give you elements in any order like uh, chlorine. Then they may give you magnesium. Then they may give you aluminium. Then sodium, suppose. Atomic size in a period, these all are belonging to the same period, no? Hmm. So once you have this table, you can look it up. Chlorine, uh, chlorine and uh, magnesium, aluminium and sodium. So these all are belonging to period 3. So how will you arrange it? You will arrange it as sodium, magnesium, aluminium. Then they are asking chlorine. This way you will arrange. Okay, so if you arrange this way, it is clear that here you have arranged the atomic size in decreasing order. No? Along the period, as you go from left to right, the atomic size decreases. So here maximum size will be for sodium, then the minimum will be for chlorine. Atomic size decreases. So they may ask you which, uh, atom, which element has the maximum atomic size. Then looking at this, you have to say which, which element has the maximum atomic size, which element has the maximum atomic size or atomic radius, it is sodium. Because we know that as you go from left to right in a period, the atomic size decreases. But, now let us consider these three elements. From these three elements, we can infer that Beryllium, magnesium and calcium. Now, out of this, who has, which element has the maximum atomic size? As you go down the group, atomic size increases. So, the smallest atomic radius is of beryllium and the highest is of calcium. 
Understood? So this is all about atomic size. After atomic size, now we come on to the last property that is metallic and non-metallic character. Metals have tendency to lose electrons. Okay, keep this thing in mind. You will get it clear. Metals always have tendency to lose electrons. For example, if uh, let we all know that on to the left side we have the metals and on to the right side we have the non-metals, right? Okay, 1 and 2 we have the metals. So, out of this I will consider the example of sodium. Let me consider sodium atomic number 11, electronic configuration 2, 8, 1. This sodium has the tendency to lose this one electron which is in the outermost shell and it attains the positive ion form. Okay, it attains the form of a cation. Positive charge means it is cation. So, this property of an element to lose electrons is called as electropositivity. Okay? A element, if it is able to lose electrons, that means it is showing metallic character. If an element, let me consider now uh, fluorine. Okay? Fluorine, atomic number is 9. So, the electronic configuration is 2,7. Outermost shell has 7 electrons. So, what will it tend to do? It will tend to attain the stable form. 7 electrons are there. It needs only 1 electron. It will try to gain electron. This tendency to gain electron is called as electronegativity. The property to accept electron is called as electronegativity. The property which is present in an element or metals to lose electrons is called as electropositivity. Clear? Electrons lost means it is getting into the form of a cation. This property is called as electropositivity. The property of metals to lose electrons okay, is called as electropositivity. The property of non-metals to gain electron is called as Electronegativity. Electronegativity. So let us see as you go from left to right, electropositivity is increasing or electronegativity. Let us see. Huh? Now lithium 2,1. So it will be easy to lithium. So I will write lithium. Then we have uh, beryllium. Then we have boron, carbon, nitrogen. Let us consider these five elements. Lithium is 3, 3, then 4, 5. 6 and 7. Just from the electronic configuration we can make out 2 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 2 comma 3, 2 comma 4, 2 comma 5 for nitrogen. Now as you go from left to right, now here the positive charge exerted by the nucleus is less because the number of protons is less. But as you go towards the end element, the positive charge is more. I told you before, no? So, as the positive charge is more, the nuclear pull is more. So, the electrons are not able to leave from the outermost shell. Like that you have to remember. And the pull is more. So, as you go from left to right, it is very difficult. It becomes very difficult to lose electrons. So, electropositivity decreases. Electropositivity decreases. The element loses its metallic character. What are metals? Metals are the elements which have capacity to lose electrons. What are metals? Metals have a tendency to lose electrons. But when you are going from left to right, the nuclear pull is increasing, making it difficult for the valence electrons to lose electrons. So, nuclear pull is more. So, we can say that the electropositivity decreases. Electropositivity decreases. So, what increases? Electronegativity increases. No? Now, once again, let us check. Easy to lose one electron. Little easy to lose two electrons. Little more difficult. Difficulty increases. So, electropositivity decreases as you go from left to right. Electronegativity increases as you go from left to right. Electropositivity decreases means the metallic character metallic character decreases. More electropositive an element is more metallic. So as you go from left to right it is difficult to lose electrons because of the 
nuclear pull because the nuclear pull is increasing from left to right are you understanding clear na ha so as you go from left to right the electropositivity decreases because the electropositivity decreases the metallic character also decreases but what is increasing electronegativity increases now here he is very happy he will gain one electron and attain the octet form so it is easy to gain electron than to lose electron so electronegativity increases so i can say that the non metallic character increases non metallic character increases as you go from left to right last time i'll explain see whether you understood as you go from left to right it becomes difficult to lose electrons because of the increasing nuclear pull so as it becomes difficult to lose electrons electropositivity decreases electropositivity kam hua matlab metallic character bhi kam metallic character also decrease is happening from left to right the metallic character decreases non metallic character increases you can see from metal slowly 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 nitrogen oxygen fluorine all these are non metals okay i'm not talking about inert gases is it done now we will talk about what is happening down the group let me take the example of this uh, uh, beryllium magnesium and calcium that is beryllium we have atomic number 4 so 2, 2 okay this will be the electronic configuration here magnesium 12 2,8,2 2. for calcium 20 2,8,8,2 right so here you can see that the number of shells increases as the number of shells increases here you had only two shells okay there is four protons here we had three shells two three 12 protons last orbit and here we had 1 2 3 and 4 shells again in the last orbit we have two valence electrons so and uh, 20 proton here as you go down the group we all can see that because the number of shells increases the nuclear pull the attraction exerted by the nucleus till the last shell it reduces no the the it the till the last shell is not able to experience much uh, pull by the nucleus but as the number of shells increases the nuclear pull decreases if the nuclear pull decreases it is easy to give the electrons it is easy to donate electrons somebody is pulling you are not able to leave that it becomes difficult to lose electrons no there is no pull the pull is reduced here nuclear pull reduces as you go down the group so it is easy to give electrons so metals have tendency to give electrons the as so you can see that down the group the tendency to give electron is increasing so what can i say tendency to lose electrons is increasing means metallic character is increasing so as you go down the group the electropositivity electropositivity increases electropositivity increases means metallic character increases if electropositivity is increasing the tendency to gain electron decreases opposite electropositivity electropositivity is increasing down the group so electronegativity will obviously decrease so we can say that down the group electropositivity increases metallic character increases electronegativity decreases non metallic character decreases so as you go down the group metallic character increases non metallic character decreases as you go down the group the metallic character increases as you go from left to right what increases the metallic character decreases so non metallic character increases is it done okay so if you are talking about these elements the most electronegative element is fluorine for third period it is chlorine 
the most electropositive one is which are on the left side of the modern periodic table. Is it done? So like this we have completed, so this way we have completed the periodic trends in modern periodic table. Just uh, keep in mind about the nuclear pull. So everything will be clear to you. Okay. Class we will discuss about the exercise questions related to this chapter. Okay. Till we meet for the next time. Take care. Bye. <laughs>